Good morning, John, Katie and David. It is Wednesday. I am late for university and because my house is being rebuilt right now, I couldn't find my spare battery, so I'm hoping this set holds out. Today's video comes in a minimum of four, maximum of some more than four parts. Firstly, David's punishments. Thanks for all the comments, guys. They were good, uh, good comments and a number of good ideas there. I just wanted to address one in particular. Indy Abbey, you said uh, he had to eat blended bubble and squeak. That's an interesting idea, but since Bubble and Squeak is made of mashed potato and cabbage, I don't think blending it would be that bad, because, you know, mashed potato is basically blended already. I think it would be a little too unpunishing, so uh, I want to go with Ajax the Goat's idea of making fast hair and pigtails, because that's the best idea I've ever heard. So David, your next video must be done uh, replete with um, Pippi Longstocking style. Uh, pigtails. Any punishments I missed, by the way, uh, I guess they can be added to Katie's punishment box. So I'm going to say something now that I should have said a long time ago. Everyone go and subscribe to David's channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Divine Morris. Because, yeah, this whole thing really doesn't make any sense uh, if you don't know who David is. So this time of year is meant to be the most depressing time of year. Uh, uh, there's a list of reasons why. Uh, firstly, apparently your credit card bill is going to be coming in from Christmas. I don't really have a credit card. I never really intend to, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Your New Year's resolutions will have failed, apparently. So far, I've completely fulfilled one of mine. The others I haven't done yet, but, you know, there's no reason why not. Uh, you know, the climbing one particularly depends on the weather, which has the third reason. It's meant to be dreadful at this time of year. I don't know if you can see this. It's lovely. It's really nice. Uh, what's the other reason? Um, oh, yeah, it's January. What's wrong with January? January's nice, I like January. David, you said, you in your last video, you said you got your essays back and you had some good results and then you had uh, 58, right? Uh, in the three units I've had so far at university I got a 62, which is, is good, and then I got a 40, and then I got a 30. So 58 is a win, that's, that's good work. Also, you have a unit called Dark Futures. I just want to do your course just so I can say, yeah, I'm just, I'm doing Dark Futures right now. In fact, yeah, my next piece of work uh, it's going to be entitled Dark Futures, just because I think that's awesome. In exciting news, I'm getting a tattoo, uh, which I've wanted for ages and my girlfriend hasn't wanted me to have, but now is okay with me having, so I'm going to get a tattoo, which is really cool. I appreciate some of you might not like tattoos, but please don't try and dissuade me, because it's just not going to work. Also, in case you're wondering where I am and why the lack of, like, cars and stuff, I'm on the common Southampton's answer for the countryside. Check it out. actually really nice today. Also check out my dedication. I got to university this morning and the lecture was, it was alright but it was late starting. Uh, so I made myself a vlog plan uh, and this is it. There's a lot of detail there, you know, I care, man, I care. For all of these come out real boring, there's a lot of effort goes into them. It's a nice day, here are some nice woodland scenes because I'm meant to be a photographer. Here's the recipe for you John, uh, I hope you enjoy it. First you take a piece of bacon and cut all the fat off it. Next stage is to um, make a white sauce while your glamorous assistant chops up an onion for you. What's going on there? Uh, yeah, so to make a white sauce, you get some butter uh, and melt that off, which I'm just about to do now. Once that butter's melted, you just want to put in a bit of flour. That gives you this sort of paste, and to this you add milk. You then need to stir a lot until you get something of about this sort of consistency. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you need to stir a lot to start with. Now, I don't normally do this, but I'm adding a little cream uh, to this, uh, which is really decadent. Uh, normally I use sour cream or just milk. This is very decadent, it's going to make it very rich. Now you put the, uh, the onion, the red onion, mushroom and uh, bacon on to fry off. Uh, you just leave it there, move it around, and make sure you've got water on for the pasta as well. Now we add the sauce, now that the, the vegetable and meat stuff has cooked, we add the sauce to that. Uh, like so. Now I'm doing an experiment here to see what happens if you add white wine to this because it's the sort of recipe that you might add. I think I added way too much there, so I'm going to put a different thing to do. Like that. Give it a mix about maybe. It seems to have cut quite dramatically. It smells so strong. <laughs> that is happening! Splash more. And it was delicious. John, I'll see you on Friday.